It's your boy Mistelix and we are back again here for another Mistelix come and turn. Now guys, it is the Calypso season here in the nature isle of the Caribbean and one of the things that we are proud of here in Dominica is our Calypso. But there seems to be some, you know, conflict. Apparently there's this song called Looters by King Die. It's not being taken well by the hierarchy public, so to speak, which is very few people. And because of that, a lot of people are saying that the song isn't appropriate. People are saying, oh, Dice is glorifying looters, looters, looting. And I don't think that's what the song is saying. Dice actually got a letter telling him that he cannot perform at the opening ceremony here on Bayfront. So if I don't get it, maybe you can help me get it. Okay, guys, I don't get it. So we're going to take a look, if you may, to take the... Out the window. Let me go put that back in the bathroom. So yes, guys, let us take a look at this song, shall we? Who is the real looter? Where is the looter? Show me the looters. King Dice is the looter. Hey. Okay, before we continue, um, the song is basically asking, who is the real looters? Show me the looters. You know, where is the looters? Asking, who are they? Pretty much, that's, you know what the song is, the introduction is saying. Let us continue. By the way, the song is pretty dope. I, I'm not gonna lie. This thing is playing my ears. This song is pretty dope. <laughs> I didn't know that. I heard that they were shooting people during that time, but I never knew that they shot and killed somebody. That's interesting. Dominica, I was heading out my gate to see what I could take. Long before daybreak, before the city awakes. So I, I think this part is basically saying he's going out or whoever he's talking about is going out to see what they can get. Hurricane pass, ravage everything, threw everything all over the place. So, so I guess that that's the part they're talking about that, that kind of says, okay, it's okay for looters to go and loot. But that is not the whole song. Let us listen to the whole song, shall we? Well, in part. <laughs> Local boys might give me a break, but the foreign police is a risk. So I guess he's basically saying here that the local police, if they are seeing people doing different things and whatnot, I guess at that time, you know, police themselves were even on that looting vibe. I wouldn't say not necessarily looting, but if they see something there or whatever, see people taking it, I don't think they're going to take it and then return it to the store. I also had friends that were saying the same thing, that the local people would kinda, the local police would actually take things from people, but not necessarily bring them back to the store. Maybe bring them to the station, I don't know, who knows? There were also police um, in different places that were also taking drinks and thing, you know, so I guess that's what he's talking about. While the foreign police, you know, they will come and start shooting people, I guess because of that incident that took place where they killed a guy, so. Stop and me. Well, that's good as strong. I'm like the hyena. Self preservation comes first, and nothing else matters. I agree with that. I agree with that. So, that, that taking that whole thing as it is, you go out to see what you can find. Your house is mashed up. Even if you have to look at it that way, there were people who actually taking galvanized off the roads and stuff to put on their house. And then you see the galvanized, there's like two different color galvanized. Obviously, that's not their galvanized. If your house was destroyed, what would you do? Would you just stay outside saying, hey, la papa boji, my house gone. What do I do, Lord? Obviously, you would want to go and see what you can salvage and also see what you can get. That kind of makes sense. Uh, 
and that I, oh that is very deep right there big up to dice or whoever wrote this right there like you know the businessmen they're always looking down on people who are poor when it comes down to you know actually going out there and looking for jobs they still don't want to give you jobs and whatnot when this happened i mean it seems like an opportunity opened up where you know people could actually go out and see what they can get on the roads and stuff you know so i guess that's where all that vibes is coming in okay let's continue That's that's definitely true right there. We looking down on the little man or the poor man for going in the streets and looking for different things for him to make at least survive another day, so to speak, or for him to be able to live a little bit of a better life, so to speak. Right? Put yourself in that situation. However, in the real establishments now, the big boys, the big businesses, they tend to do that to the little people, where they actually take the little people's money and you know do all kind of things with it i remember there was a bean bubble system going on the money from the people was taken out of the treasury for some bean business and had to be put back in so that in itself is also looting the people man let me tell you something when when it comes down to businesses selling things at a really high markup price and you have people not making much money for example you go to america you buy honeycombs for two two dollars you come here in dominica you buy honeycombs for thirty dollars i mean what kind of system is that like the introduction is saying who is the relooter you know what i mean who is the relooter you have the big man looting the little man i don't think there's anything about glorifying the looters but if you want to say okay this one is okay and this one is not okay and both of them are actually looting then who is the relooters why should we accept one and you know put down the other you know i mean if you're saying they're wrong both should be wrong you know certain people's greed are socially accepted but each man takes something sometimes more than his needs 100 million looted from Lyon River Hotel that's another one right there where did the money go for the Lyon River Hotel 100 million dollars the money just vanished like that no 100 million dollars folks doesn't just vanish like that <laughs> you crazy <laughs> you know what is a million dollars you know what is a hundred million dollars a hundred million dollars doesn't just vanish like that so who is the real looters here folks but if they catch me just surviving it's for or five years in jail so they're talking about the big people who are taking all the hundred million dollars and then you see people taking the stove here and there and then they give them four and five years in jail while the big man doesn't get nothing. The police are shooting, but I'm a not looter. I, I, I carry galvanized wood, food and stuff on me scooter. Mm, after a disaster. I'm like the hyena, like yeah, yeah, yeah. self-preservation comes first, everything else after. Mm. The businessmen and establishment have me unfit for employment. My needs hold no malice for them, it's just my only means to get back something from the system. The system takes so much from the people. It is now time for the people to at least try to get something to salvage and survival. In the United States, there's something called looting and there's something called, I forget its name, but it's not looting. It's where you go out, where you have to go out. And if there's like a store or open or whatever, you can go inside there and take whatever you need to take food wise and go and you won't get arrested or nothing like that in times of disasters so i think survival of the fittest when it comes down to these things especially when when you grew up not having anything guys 
and then bow you see a stove right in front of you you would be like oh no let me leave this stove my stove my house smash up you know but let me leave the little stove on the road let me let me make this, this man it waiting you know let me leave it there for the man to put back in his office so i can come later on and pay it on higher purchase nobody would say that stuff nobody <sighs> It is not about justifying you know the decisions that you make yes you go out there you see a stove on the road you take it you put it in your house or you try and do something and whatnot it's 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 not a justification to me is that 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 is reality if i'm living in a house and it fall down and i see plywood all over the place brothers and sisters your boy making ding down your boy making a little cardboard house and he's setting up i don't care if he's from you know to the cardboard come out or the, 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 the plank or whatever come out. I, I build it my own straight. Joke you making. But maybe one day I've been made to pay for the excess that I take. He's basically saying if you get caught for the excess that you take, you know, things that, you know, like I heard this lady had about 20, 20 washing machines in a yard or something like that. I mean, come on, that is ridiculous. I mean, it, you have to pay the price. That is justice right there. But it still boils down to the same thing. Who is the relooters? Who is the relooters? Exactly. Exactly. Targeted for my political ideology. Sometimes I still feel my father. He watches over me. The police are shooting. But I'm an unlooter. Hey, hey, hey. I carry galvanite. Wood free and stone on the scooter. It's a big scooter. Mm. After a disaster, I'm like the hyena. Self-preservation comes first And nothing else matter mm. The government and establishment Have me unfit for employment My needs will no malice for them It's just my only means To get back something from the system I never heard that once in the song it is not about justifying looting it is about who is the real looters if you're saying one is better than the other and one is accepted and the other is not accepted even though the other one little little as it may seem i mean 100 million to what a 500 dollar stove <laughs> i mean come on who is the real looters here if you want to bring down somebody everything is looting consequences cannot be had for a little man who took this stove and somebody else or businesses or whoever that taking a hundred million dollars and thing going for free that doesn't make sense that is what the song is basically saying so guys let me know what you think about the whole song and let me know why you think you get caught you i get well like then again i guess the big businessman doesn't get caught so justice doesn't prevail but at least we still know it's happening in the big boys cabinet and nothing is happening and do you think Dai should have been penalized for the song and so forth Does they stop the guy from performing the song and the song is true that make it sense to you <laughs> what do you think about this let me know in the comment box below anyways guys i react to different videos like this and of course um you know don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications by clicking the bell for to get all the videos as they come through. Anyways, guys, it's about Mr. Licks on a Mr. Licks commentary. I will see you guys in the next commentator reaction vibrations. Remember, guys, be real, be positive.